Looking for cheap Madden coins? Check out my new sponsor, CoinBank UT, for the cheapest, fastest, and most reliable coins on the internet. And I can help you save some money too. Be sure to use my code BKINDLE for 15% off your order. So Weekend League is paying. But today, I'm going to show you guys an offensive ebook that can take your game to the next level. Whether that be from 2 wins to 25 wins, or 14 to 15, 18 to 12, I don't know. Either way, it's going to help you out. Except in that last scenario where I guess you lost six wins. That's case, don't list to be because then it's not gonna help. But you see here, we are on the practice field and we are gonna be using the New Orleans Saints offensive playbook. But team-wise, we're gonna be using the Chiefs. Why, you may ask? The Chiefs have some studs. The Saints, they they only got one stud. But on a serious note, we got Patrick Mahomes, we got Travis Kelsey, we got Tyreek Hill. Everything we need to make this offense click, a QB with a skate bar to set a big arm, a great tight end, and a speedy wide receiver to beat those cover three bonds. So everything we need to make this offense work. But it's okay, Saints fans. The best part about being on the practice field is the refs can't screw you over. Or at least I don't gotta go on Twitter and hear about how the refs screwed the Saints over. Sorry, Saints fans. So getting right into it, there are a couple formations that I like to work with with this playbook, but the main one that I'm in about 80% of the time is tight offset tight end. This formation has a lot of good beaters, whether it be cover three, man, cover four, cover two, whatever it is, this offense formation has what you need. So that's why we stick in a lot and you're going to see all of it in full force here. So right away, I'm just going to go on over. We're going to start out with a cover two. And the first play that you look at when there is a cover two is PA shot seams. So we're just going to start out coming out on cover two. And the first thing we need do is we need to set our audibles and really the only thing that I changed about these audibles is stick square the first play I changed that and I changed that the Y out halfback swing it was a meta for me last year it was a meta just in general last year but the play we're coming out in is going to be this PA shot scene and like I said we're just going to come out and cover two I like to show random plays to show you I'm not coming out in just cheesy ones so we're going to come out on a random cover two here and show you how it's done so first thing you got to kind of recognize that it's cover two the way you do that is you look at the corners on the outside and see if they're about five yards apart from the wide receiver. If they're about five yards off, generally that's gonna be a cover two or it's a man, but you can tell right away when you motion this guy over, it's a man. Then we get into our audibles. If they're playing back more, it's a cover four, this play won't work. For instance, we are on the left hash mark, so this play is gonna be going to the right. So we'll set all our audibles right here, slant square, block the running back, and now we motion circle over and we'll hike it when he's in motion. And what you really wanna do is wait till he breaks past flat and not get hit. They call me Chase McSorley. And then all you gotta do, you gotta motion him over and wait till he gets past that clap flat. Once he's past there, you just kinda gotta lead it to the sideline. Then you gotta decide if you wanna do a rat catch or if you wanna catch it towards sideline. Either way, you gotta just make sure that it gets to the sideline. This is a really easy play to complete versus cover two once you get the hang of it. So maybe hop in practice, do it a few times, and we'll do it like two or three more times because we got a lot of plays to cover. But either way, we wait till it gets past clap flat. We just throw it towards sideline, and that's an easy catch for a touchdown right there. Now we're going to switch it up. We are going to be on the right hash mark. So this play needs to be on the complete other side right here so the running back goes over. But exact same thing. We'll block the running back. We'll put circle on a drag or a slant, and we'll just motion Robinson out. And now he's got a bunch of room where that safety won't be able to catch up to him. We pass it towards sideline, and we'll just... We'll just catch, we'll just catch it right there. Easy catch right there. It's an easy pitch and catch. One more, bro. I'm telling you, this play works a very large majority of the time if it's covered two, unless they're using the safety and they know it's coming. So if you can just keep rocking versus cover two, man, this is an easy pitch and catch every single time. He'll get right past this cloud flat and you just pass it towards sideline. And don't do that, Patty. Just don't do that. All right, last one, last one. You gotta end on a good note. It's just an unwritten rule right here. Gets past cloud flat. That's easy money. Pass towards sideline, and we go out of bounds. Easy yards right there. But now another play that I use, I use this play so much, is I'll come out in Y out halfback swing. And once again, the route you were looking for is gonna be that triangle route that Tyreek is on, that little corner route right there. We can switch it around depending, once again, you want that to be on the far side of the field right there. But this play's the opposite. If you're on the right hash mark, you want that corner route going to the right side. You wanna have less field there, and then you'll put circle on that little flat route right there. So this way, when you motion him over, it'll take Take that cover to that cloud flat and it'll bring him down which is what you want to do and then you can catch towards sideline look how open he gets we just need to get our feet in bounds good catch right there then you just gotta motion him outside give you some more room and if that's covered 
boom we got an easy route right there it really depends on the cover too if it's a hard flat or a cloud flat if it'll work but that's why we put that flat route on there because if it's a hard flat triangle is going to be wide open covering that flat route and if it's not then we just dump it off right there you see right there he's covering that flat route we'll just take our seven yards right there it's easy money and eventually kelsey will be open on these corner routes and then we can just pitch it off to him so we're gonna come out in a hard flat now and we're gonna run this to the left side here so it's on a hard flat and you'll see how open triangle gets well motion square over exact same thing except tyree kill is literally as open as he can possibly be easy catch down the sideline and it'll get you about 15 yards every time so it really doesn't matter what side of the field you really run this play on but you see the hard flats covering square he's on him like freaking glue but tyree kill butt naked easy catch so you guys see how that play works first cover two now let's run it first cover three because it works here last year it was a one play touchdown this year not so much but still effective you see kelsey on that side all we're gonna do put him on a streak everything else is exactly the same we'll put robinson here on a flat route and we'll motion him out and it takes a little bit longer to develop but if you get the blocking right here everything will get open you see cover three tyree kill still gets open towards sideline but last year that corner route that watkins was on that was a touchdown right here i'm gonna try it right here but i don't think it gets open initially triangle will be covered but the safety will kind of go back and play his deep blue and it doesn't develop like it did last year see we'll roll out we'll roll out see how he's covered but look how open triangle is he did a really weird pass lead but overall he was wide open we're gonna try that again see we got the blocking here but you see that route goes towards cover three then we'll just throw it over at tyree kill it's an easy drop last year that post route for cover three easy cover three beater or touchdown now this year that deep blue comes up plays the corner route and then he backs off but that leaves triangle wide open every single time and as long as you don't get weird animation where your qb throws it up by a mile you'll get a big gain right there but this play can also be used to beat man coverage so we're gonna run out gun offset tight end and we're gonna run out and cover two man and man pain in the ass this year it is the meta it's what everybody runs but so you gotta have some man beating right Routes, and it's just kind of boring but it's a lot of pitch and catch so some man being routes are going to be running double slants motion slants and zig routes so right away i'll run same thing and one thing i'll do is that square route we've been putting on a flat i'll just put him on a simple zig route right here and he'll be able to create separation and you'll be able to get yards that way not as many as you would like but you'll still be able to pick up anywhere from like 7 to 15 yards easily we'll do it one more time it's just an easy pitch and catch it'll work every single time first man except right there where he dropped it. We'll do it again. So one thing I'll do if I know they're running man coverage is I'll put two zigs on the field. I'll put one on circle and I'll put one on square. So this way they have to pick and choose like, okay, I got to cover with my user this zig, but then the other zig's going to be open. So this time we'll hit square because circle looked like it was covered a little bit and we're able to get some decent yards downfield. One of those routes should be open every single time unless they're putting a cloud flat out there. Another thing you can do is run double slant. So what I like to do is I'll put Kelsey, I'll put him on like a curl flat or something and I'll put Watkins and I'll put the square route receiver on slants right here and block my running back. So now you got two slants and let's motion him a little bit. I'll motion him outside, kind of give him a little bit of head start and you see he gets wide open right there just a little bit of a motion kind of throw your opponent off throw the corner kind of delay his reaction a little bit and it'll leave one of these receivers wide open in man coverage man coverage isn't that hard to beat it's just annoying to try and beat it and run the same things every single time you see we got circle right there it's going to be easy yards right there so this play torches cover two cover three and man coverage every single time and now we're getting into one of my favorite running plays i run two run plays in this offense and that's it so what i like to do is i'll audible to this inside zone play and instead of running at base i like get some extra blocking so i got travis kelsey here i'm gonna motion him over and right when he gets by the right guard i'll hike it right there so we get some extra blockers and it's an easy like five yard pickup right there having a big six foot seven strong mother fluffer body kind of come up and get that extra blocking it'll push you some extra yards like on my mutt team with this play i have jimmy graham jimmy graham has like 67 run block terrible run blocking but using him in this play works because he just clogs up the middle and it makes it really easy to kind of squeeze through get some extra blocking and you see right there it just creates an easy hole because the double team edge was game blocked so if somebody sees i'm running the ball a lot and they see them run that play a lot one thing i'll do is i'll come out we'll use y out half x win right here i'll do the same audibles that i normally do except instead i'm leaving kelsey i am motioning kelsey over so 
the second they see him motion over, they think I'm running the ball. But instead, we're motioning him over, and now this is the look we have on this play. Creates a lot of separation here. You see, he gets open right there. Or we had triangle wide open on that route too. But it really keeps your opponent guessing a majority of the time, and they can never fully commit to the run game. And if they do, it's going to really open up the middle of the field right here, because we're going to have easy yards. And boom freaking dots. So there are a lot of ways you can beat coverages in full defenses literally by running this Y out halfback swing and just keep your opponent guessing. So two plays that I run a lot right here is halfback Y out swing in inside zone. Keeps my opponent guessing. I got a run game. I got a pass game that can be cover two, cover three, and man coverage. Like I said, I only use two running plays in the entire playbook and one of them is going to be this 0-1 trap play. We'll just come out in a random play because it really doesn't matter. This 0-1 trap play is so good. I just leave it base. You just need a good pulling left guard to come out get that block and you see there as long as they don't have run stuff you'll be good if they have run stuff they're gonna simply throw your guard to the side they're simply gonna take your guard and throw him to the side like you use prostitute so we're just gonna keep going with it and it doesn't work too well because he has inside stuff he just throws him inside but more times than not this run play very op it's really all i work right there as long as we got some blocking but this is definitely a play where you can break off some big runs right here just you just got to make sure there's no ability defensive tackles that are on your opponent's defensive line so in terms that i use a majority of the time those are the four plays that I use i'd say about 80 percent of the time other plays that i will use in this formation is going to be the saints drive out which works pretty well versus man coverage saints in also works very good versus man coverage i use that down by the red zone in this mesh spot which kind of has a lot of opportunities here with the running back the crossing routes the post route and the little comeback route right there so i'm gonna show you this play right here it's that saints out play and it's very similar to the y out halfback swing play what i do is i'll put square on a flat route entire kill is what you were looking for you need to know that it's man coverage here here comes the blitz but you see right there he torches man coverage because with that it's one-on-one -on -one, it's speed you give him a little double move with that up and kind of out route and it just creates a lot of separation here to where you can really beat man deep but it doesn't always work it works maybe half the time and you gotta have some time and just make sure that they're not sending an all-out blitz at you but that's a really good play that I used to beat man but if i'm down by the red zone and i know they are either blitzing me or running man coverage i'll run saints in right here that play works very good we're gonna send a blitz at me we're gonna send a man blitz right here and i really make no adjustments to it because it has a lot of man being routes to it so really with this play i kind of like to leave it stack as is we know they're gonna send pressure we know they're gonna blitz us they have a lot of man beating routes right here with tyree kill on that little i don't even know what it is like mini out route we also got the drag to square and edwards hilaire kind of on this little running back out and really what you're looking for is triangle he's not there so we're gonna hit the running back right there and he's able to get into the end zone so really you got three routes you are looking looking for on this man coverage and even Kelsey can sometimes create separation but they are blitzing unfortunately we got nothing there we dump it off we weren't able to pick up as many yards as we'd like but still overall this play works really well for us man guys you gotta know you don't got a lot of time coming we got square wide open and that's a way to get into the end zone and if they're running zone down by the red zone they're not sending anybody they're kind of playing people back it's easy to just come out in that 0-1 trap that 0-1 trap is the main play that I will go to in this situation or if I'm down by the one yard line and literally need one yard they are sending everybody that's a perfect spot where you use this inside zone and you motion kelsey over because and just get behind him because he's going to give you another body to kind of truck through and get that one yard you need so that's really all i use of this tight offset tight end it has everything you need but some big cover for beaters and some beaters in general so that's where i kind of get into some fun where i go to Taysom hill slot and you see at the bottom it's always going to come out in qb3 sub where it's going to have your tight end be your quarterback three for whatever reason you need to change that off just go to the right once just have it on a normal package and play you're going to be looking for is pa read and we're just going to come out into cover four right here this is what you're looking at this post route right here you want to have your fast player here we got the freaking cheetah there the fastest man in the league and what you want to do is square you're going to put him on a streak you're going to have r1 you're going to block him and then this is really where you need to have time and get this down because you need blocking so you're going to use L1 down on the right analog stick, double team this end right here, and then L1, X, and have the running back block this guy on the edge, and then L1, 
right on your right analog stick to have your protection slide right. You need a lot of protection for this to work as with any beater. And then you motion Robinson over and it doesn't always work. But once he gets by Tyreek Hill, you will hike it here and look how open Tyreek Hill is. He is open by a solid 15 yards right there and easy shmoney into that zone. But sometimes for whatever reason, it doesn't let you hike it once he gets Tyreek Hill. So if that's the case, you just quickly make him into a slant route and hike it when he gets over here. And you got a nice motion slant because without that streak versus cover four, that doesn't get open as much. So one more time versus cover four, you block the running back, you put square on a streak, fastest receiver at triangle run that post. And it's just gonna be an easy money touchdown right here because for whatever reason, they go after a streak, but you see, it doesn't let me cover it right here. It won't let me hike it. So we got a motion over but we still might be able to get Tyreek it's a tight coverage and we still throw an absolute piss missile so it works sometimes but that's mainly due to the speed of Tyreek Hill I don't know why it does that though motion hiking works sometimes and other times it won't so we gotta hike it like right before he gets there I think but you see there look how open Tyreek Hill is dude I don't think I've ever ran a beater where he is open by that large of a margin did I just say margin like a freaking alien I meant margin aliens are cool drop a comment if you believe in aliens but we're gonna run that same thing except this time we're gonna come out in a cover three cover three you don't gotta do anything with that square receiver you can really do whatever you want with him whether it's a slant a drag whatever block your running back and do the same blocking that i said before double team the right side mic id the mic on the left and then slide your protection to the right get as much blocking as you can and square will still get open eventually here you see he creates a separation you just gotta have a lot of time to make this work and it's a tight window and of course he dropped it so we'll try it again we're gonna motion the receiver over kind of bring people down you see there we should be able to get that one yep that's right on the money that's a touchdown this play works very good first cover three as well you just gotta recognize defense you see they got one safety back it's obviously gonna be a cover three so we set our protection up. We know he's going to be running a cover three. We just got to make sure when we throw it that we kind of throw it towards the sideline a little bit. So this way it's not underthrown gets picked off. If you can get to the outside, that's great. That's why you want to escape artist QB. And we throw an absolute dot to a wide open Tyree kill for a touchdown. But wait, hold up. There's more. We are going to be running this exact same play that we have been running. Except now we're going to come out in cover two. So now we're in cover two and this is a lot harder to master because you got to be really good with directional and really what you're going to do here is you are going to split the safeties. So we're going to hike it. We did everything black and then you throw it up. You got to throw it up and it's a tight fit right there. You see, we were able to get the touchdown barely, but if you can throw it up and you have a fast receiver on there, there's not a linebacker or a safety in the world that's going to be able to keep up with him. So we'll try it one more time. A lot more time. You see there, he split safeties. Now it's up to a linebacker to try and keep up with Tyree Kill right there. With the safeties playing so far apart, it splits the middle up. That linebacker is the only thing keeping you in the way of a touchdown right there. And like I said, there's just no linebacker that's going to keep up with that kind of speed unless I get hit like that and throw an interception. God damn it. So last time we'll run it right here. I just want to do one more cover two beater. You see, we split the safeties. Got to... Damn it! Last time, I promise, I promise, we're gonna do the same thing. We got blocking, we got blocking, and we pass lead it up. You gotta make sure you pass lead it up, and that's a freaking dot. Stop it. Get some help. But yeah, just make sure you pass lead it up. So you see there, we got a one play touchdown versus cover two, cover three, and cover four on that one play. The only problem with it, that one play, it's gonna work once, maybe twice a game. So you really gotta pick and choose when you use it. I always get comments when I do these videos, like, hey, it only worked once or twice. Like, no shit, you're gonna run it the same play, dude. I'm just gonna play everybody back and let you make you make a decision somewhere else, man. Think a little. But seriously, use that play once, twice a game when you really need a big time play and you know what they are running. That post route will get open and you'll be able to throw a deep bomb. They won't be expecting it, especially if you keep coming out in this gun tight offset that we've been running. But there you boys have it. That is my full offense that I use in weekend link. I'm telling you, it's a very effective offense. As you saw, it beats man, which is the meta right now. Cover two, cover three, cover four, including touchdowns, one play on every single one of them. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see more ebooks, I know you guys want to see Hawks ebook. I see all time in my mentions. Let me know in the comment section and I will definitely do that one, kind of look over their playbook a little bit more. But right now I'm rocking with the Saints right now. Dude, it's straight fire. It works. I used this playbook last year, a lot of the same plays 
plays from last year and it still torches defense just make sure you follow the instructions hop into practice mode try these out before we get link and let me know in the comment section how they work for you but anyways boys hopefully you enjoyed this video more ebooks come along the way once man 21 really kind of gets into things but be sure to like the video subscribe to the channel if you're new and down below in the description you'll find links to my twitter instagram and tiktok so if you want to keep up to date with everything that i do and post click the links down below and give your boy a follow but until next time guys i'm out peace